go uh, and see if we can get inside. So. Chaos on Capitol Hill. <laughs> reasonable that we would have weird theatrical performances and lies. It's probably because President Trump and the GOP are running out of defenses. Here's Congresswoman Jackie Spear. What happened yesterday was a high school prank by a bunch of 50-year-old white men. Really clear. Did Jackie Spear identify my race and my gender in, con in the context of my activities as a member of Congress yesterday? Did she say it was that we were a bunch of white men? What does the fact that we are white men have to do with our desire to represent the millions of constituents that we serve? I mean, I was deeply offended by that. Like, I, when, when Jackie Spear walks in a room, I don't sit there and say, you know, a white woman came in or when someone of a different race or ethnicity comes in. This is the type of identity politics from the left that seems to permeate any substantive or procedural argument that they make. And it's, fr it's sickening to me that that is how we would be thought of. Republicans walked into this secure area of the Capitol yesterday, including some Republicans who could have just gone in and participated as members of those committees as the rules allowed. So what was the point of this? Was this really anything more than a stunt? Well, the point was to highlight the true due process inequities that are damaging the Congress and damaging the institution of the presidency. I don't think Democrats have a answered the question yet, why is Donald Trump getting less due process than President Clinton got or than Richard Nixon got? So what happened in the Nixon impeachment? My former boss, I was his page in the House of Representatives, Peter Rodino, instead of holding the hearings in secret, interviewed the witnesses in secret, not by the committee, but by the staff. Congressman Henry Hyde, same thing in the Clinton impeachment. Witnesses were interviewed in secret and then presented in public. But, like, I, I only speak for myself. I should be allowed sure, in that room as a member of okay. the Judiciary Committee, as a member of the Armed Services Committee, and they wouldn't let us in, and it begs the question, what are they hiding? So you're speaking for yourself, so let's talk about that. You are a member of Judiciary, member of Armed Services. As you know, none of those committees are the ones conducting these depositions. It's intel, it's foreign affairs, that. it's oversight. I don't oversight. know that. It, no, no, that is no, the you, fact. I and reject the rules, the it's the not a fact. Go back and look at the September 12th members hearing of, of the Judiciary Committee, Hallie. Sure. Go back and look. You cannot misstate that as a fact. How can you tell me it's a fact that my committee's not involved when it was the committee chairman your of the committee Judiciary has Committee has not subpoenaed, the subpoenaed these individuals to appear for the deposition? This was a contentious and rowdy scene here on the Hill, Republican. Republicans protesting just one day after stunning testimony directly implicated the president. But I also want to find out why you think the rules do not apply to you as they're laid out to you, Congressman there Gates. Why no don't rules. they apply to you? Oh, I do think the rules apply to all of us, but the rules would typically require the Speaker of the House. I, I shouldn't say the rules. The precedent that was applied to President Clinton and President Nixon would necessitate some articulation of the rules so that we have an understanding of what the due process uh, requirements will be. As frustrating as it may be to have these hearings going on behind closed doors, the hearings uh, over which Congressman Schiff is presiding, they are consistent with the rules. They can make any of the rules they want. Well, they can't change the rules. They follow the rules. And when were the rules? written last in January of 2015 and who signed them John Boehner and who enacted them a Republican majority so, so what do the, rules say? the rules say that this level of inquiry this initial level of inquiry mm -hmm. can be done in secret I'm not asking you about precedent, Congressman. I'm asking you about the rules. Why, but why that's do you really think important. that you're above that? Precedent informs This is the whole the point of why you stormed into the that. skiff yesterday. It's not, I'm not above the rules, but when the Judiciary Committee chairman launches the inquiry, when the Speaker of the House won't adopt rules, then it creates an environment where the Democrats just sort of make it up as they go along. When were the rules written? Last? In January of 2015. And who signed them? John Boehner. And who enacted them? A Republican majority. But about the substance of this, Congressman, because I actually haven't heard you say anything since Bill Taylor testified. Yes or no? Is it okay for any politician to trade military aid for political favors? 
Look, I'm not going to get into the specifics of the Taylor deposition because I wasn't present I'm for it. I'm not asking you about that. I'm is asking what, what, yeah, yeah, what, you, what is are. it appropriate you did. in the, any the, instance? The, the Would you do that? to your question was, I want to talk about Bill Taylor's deposition. And sure. so when we don't have the benefit and the question, of the cross-examination of the questions asked, I do not believe it would be appropriate for any politician to link military aid to assistance in a future election. No. Bill Taylor's explosive testimony this week. He's the top diplomat to Ukraine who, in a deposition with impeachment investigators, said he was told President Trump wanted Ukraine's president in a public box, announcing investigations into the Bidens and the 2016 election before key military aid was released. Now, the number two Senate Republican is signaling alarm. The picture um, coming out of it, based on the reporting that we've seen, is, uh, yeah, I would say is... Uh, uh, not a good one. No, I'm but sorry. You just keep blowing through these things like they're facts, you. but they're not. But, 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 yeah, but you got to stay in the realm of facts here. And you just stuff. stated a fact, fact Congressman. I did not mischaracterize you. I want to be very clear. You just said it would not be appropriate for anybody to trade military aid for help in a future political election. Yeah. It appears from the testimony that we have seen reported publicly from the witnesses here from the that that is in fact what Adam President Schiff Trump did. Subject do we, to cross examination? No, see, like you're playing so the you game do, here. Do you Allie. dispute the facts? You're playing then? the game with so the you game do, here. Do you dispute the facts? You're playing the game with weird theatrical performances and lies. So eventually there will be a public presentation of this at which lawyers for the president can cross-examine these people and challenge them. This is like presenting a case to a grand jury, which is never done in, uh, in public. By golly, if they're going to do it, do it in public. It's finally reached a boiling point where members just said they are so frustrated at the idea that they can't be a part of this. I, I know this is going to sound weird. These are not the impeachment hearings. The impeachment hearings have to be held in public by the House Judiciary Committee. This is the initial interview of witnesses to see what they have to say to determine whether or not they are even worthy of, of presenting evidence of impeachment. And they will continue to go on and on and on until they find something on the president, Yes, right? that's what police and prosecutors do. They come to a conclusion that the person is probably guilty, and then they look for evidence to support or to negate that. That's what Congressman Schiff is doing and he's following the rules, as frustrating as those rules are. Do you know if they order anything to drink? Do they just have pizza and uh, Chick-fil-A? Do we know? I can't imagine that they have booze. Is that what you're talking You don't even drink. No, that's it. Then they went on to, um, to the skiff room to interrupt that private meeting. Knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously. Okay? Just knock the hell. I promise you, I will pay for the legal fees. I promise. I promise. We're not allowed to punch back anymore. I love the old days. You know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. We having a good time? USA! USA! Uh, yeah, get him out. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. Don't worry about it. USA! USA! people on both sides you had people in that group excuse me excuse me I saw the same pictures as you did